Good. <laughs> okay, go play. <laughs> What's up guys, how's it going? It's Matt here, so just enjoying the uh, morning right now. It's actually a nice morning out here. Kids are just playing around. Uh, Abby's trying to do sketches. Nathan's running around with his stick rifle. And Noah's just digging holes like a baby. But, besides the point. So, you know, we were actually just sitting here and I actually just saw a uh, old refurbished World War II airplane flying around the sky. So it got me thinking guys, you know, I just did my review on my Savage Axis 2, my hunting rifle, my bolt action rifle. You know, I hear a lot of people talking crap about bolt action rifles like, oh, yeah, it's, it's the worst choice you could ever have for a bug out situation or stuff like that. And, you know, I just wanted to cover that a little bit. So, you know, I understand the argument that a semi automatic rifle is better, there's more versatility, it's better for up close and in person. But one thing that you're forgetting, guys, is if it's like a shitty situation where shit hits a fan and you got to bug out or whatever the situation is, you got to remember, are you going to honestly be assaulting a armed military force probably with like tanks or, you know, groups of gangs? Are you going to be assaulting them when they're heavily armed? Or are you going to try to keep your distance, stay off the grip and try to stay alive? You know, you see what I'm saying here? So a couple of great things that come with the bolt action rifle. Bolt action rifles has been used for decades, for centuries, guys. You know, bolt action rifles are great, great rifles, all right? You know, don't get me wrong, a semi-automatic rifle has its benefits, all right? Especially if you're in a rush and you're going between outdoors and indoors and stuff like that. You know, there's some good rifles that can hold good calibers, like hunting calibers, like 308, you know, stuff like that. But think of this, guys. If you are trying to survive and either there's armed force or you're just trying to avoid, uh, you know, there's, you know, without rule of laws coming, you're just trying to avoid the uh, evil in the world, and you're trying to avoid the gangs and the violent areas and the uh, built up areas. Don't you think you might want to stand off a little bit different distance and maybe scout the areas that you're going to be going in? Now, I'm not talking about being a sniper, guys. You're not, you don't need to be a sniper. What I'm talking about is keeping your distance, using the scope or your optic or binoculars, whatever you have, scouting out the different areas to try to avoid the bad areas or to see what's going on in the areas and then deciding whether or not you want to go in that area or not for your own personal safety, all right? So now, like I said, the biggest argument that everyone says is, you know, the bolt action rifle, yeah, it's great for hunting and extended, you know, extended periods, but what happens if you know, you gotta go into a building or something like that. You know, what does happen if you have to go into a building? Well, first of all, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, a bolt action rifle is not the first choice for going into a building. Can you use it? Yeah, you can use it, all right? Not against multiple attackers, all right? So, you know, but here's the thing, guys. In that type of situation, if you scout out a building ahead of time and you're looking at it from a distance or you have binoculars or whatever it is, you know, you would probably decide whether or not you want to go into that building in the first place, right? You would definitely want to do that. Now, when it comes to urban areas, all right, so, you know, you know, I understand that semi-automatics are better if you're moving from building to building and stuff like that. But what if you're at a building, all right? What if you have an extended period of time that you're at a building? Um, if you're inside that building and you have, like, an overwatch position and you got to have, like, a watch, see what's going on, do you want something that will waste ammo quickly or do you want something that is going to be precise has a good range and has a good optic on it so you can actually pay attention to what's going around you just so you know what's in your area you know friend from foe all right zombies oh well, there you go <laughs> not like that'll ever happen but you get the drift guys friend from foe you can you need to identify your target before you engage your target you need to identify them as a threat as a friend as a foe all right so a bolt action rifle with a good optic on it for urban situation in 
if you're at this position for a while, getting to the position is going to be a pain in the butt. But if you've been at this position for a while, it would be great for an Overwatch weapon, all right? An Overwatch weapon. You know, you'd also get like, uh, you know, binoculars or spotting scope if you happen to have but it. If you are at a position where you have the equipment and you have a rifle, I mean, it would probably come in handy, all right? It would probably come in handy. Now, you think about it from this perspective. Semi-automatic rifles, usually gas-operated rifles, have a lot of different switches and springs and bolts and different types of internal components, all right? Whereas a bolt-action rifle has a bolt, has a trigger, all right, has a barrel, all right? So it's a little easier to take care of, all right? It's not going to fall apart as easily, all right? And in the end, they are more accurate than 90% of semi-automatic rifles they are more accurate don't get me wrong there are some precision semi-automatic rifles out there but i'm talking the stuff that you can find or the stuff that you've had the stuff that you can you know find around along the way a bolt action rifle will probably be more accurate than any other rifle that you have and they have good calibers in them now think about it now let's go back to we're back in the outdoors all right you're or in an open area or you're away from the cities a bolt action rifle is great for hunting. You know, semi automatics have some good calibers too. Like I said, there's some that come in 308s and stuff like that. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I would hunt with 556, 223 any day. You know, you know, I've seen, you know, when we were deployed, I actually had one of the guys actually shot at a coyote with his uh, M16A4. It was actually M16A4. He hit an ACOG scope. He was our designated marksman. He hit the coyote twice with a 556, and the damn thing ran away. All right, don't, it probably died, but it ran away. So. What would you rather have? Something like a 5.56 five, that might drop the uh, prey, or would you rather something that, if you hit it, it's either going to drop it right there, or it won't be running too as far away, so you don't have to track it as far, guys. You know, it's, it's just it's just food, some food for thought. Look, bolt-action rifles, guys, are a great way to go. They've been used in wars and everything else for years. We still use them today in the military. Yeah, there's there's snipers. People have specific sniper training, but. Your average person, you know, here's another, actually, here's another perspective about it. So, you are in a state right now in the rule of law situation where, because of laws, you are not allowed to have a semi-automatic rifle because it's too scary looking, all right? Yet, there are a million bolt-action rifles that you can possibly have. So, you want a rifle, so you go out and you get yourself a bolt-action yeah. rifle. Okay, really? Mm -hmm. So you want a rifle, but you go out and you get yourself a bolt action rifle because that's what you can legally have at the time. And then shit hits fanned or there's nuclear strike, and if you survive it and you manage to get through it, which is very survivable, you could get burns or you could be far enough away that nothing will happen. So if you survive that situation, all right, and all you have is a bolt action rifle with a good amount of ammo, whether it's hunting ammunition or ball ammunition, I'm telling you guys, it, it's a good option. It is a very viable option. It'll get the job done. But you got to remember, guys, it is a distance rifle. You know, I'm not saying like freaking mile away. What I'm saying is about, okay, can you go play, please? Yeah. Yes, that, that's a toy gun. I'm not talking about those. Go over there. All right. So, yeah. you know, I'm not saying it is a... You know, you were looking for a mile long objective. What I'm saying is, I'm not saying that, you know, you're going to be reaching out to 800 meters plus. You can with a bolt action rifle. You can do it with a semi automatic too. You know, 90% of civilians that will be affected in the area aren't going to be hardcore military trained. Some will have training, but some, they aren't going to be hardcore military trained. So they're not going to have excessive amounts of force that you're going to have to survive from. What you'll learn is that with a bolt action rifle and some training about 200 to 300 yards away is considered long distance and it is very easy to reach those targets with a good quality hunting rifle or even just a good you know say like a Remington 700 for example there's a really easy distance to reach with training all right you know even if you have minimal training you can still pr pretty much hit a target at that distance it might not be you know grouping like that big but you still probably hit the target so a bolt action rifle guys is actually very very viable option anyway guys comment below on your thoughts on the situation you know i think it's kind of a cool topic to talk about anyway guys if you like this video like share subscribe tell your friends about me guys and remember it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other peace